Hello and welcome to North 100 Showdown, a Canadian Highlander. Throw down. No, I'm not working with this guy. Unprofessional. <laughs> Unbelievable. Get not your butt back in the seat, Wheeler. Fine. Okay, if you want me to kick your ass that badly. Uh, <laughs> my name's Wheeler, and joining me is the Surge. Hi. And we got a Ben Ben on tech. Oh, it's going to be. Somebody just ate Ben. Okay, well. I made her for a show. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, this is some spell slinging. Yeah. <laughs> Dice rolling. Yeah. Uh, some surge winning a game. I can't. All right. Again. Again with this. I'm off. I'm out of here. Uh, this is very professional. We're all over the place. And you. We're over the all over the place, but you should be in one spot. Patreon.com slash loading ready run. Go there. Support the show. Support everything we do, because everything we do, uh, we couldn't do without you. And if you like what we do, uh, you can let us know in the comments below or find more information on the decks of the format in the description. Right on time. <laughs> I know you're eating chips. We're recording. All right. Woo. I'm playing Jund. Uh-oh. That's it. It's Jund. Yeah? Yeah, it's Jund. What, what, what do you do when you Jund? Yeah. Okay. I play black, I play red, I play green, I kill beep, all beep. your stuff, and I Sick. kill you dead. Uh, my points are Mox Emerald, Mox Jet, Mox Ruby, Mox Sapphire, Mox Pearl. Wait, hold on. No. Time. <laughs> I got three Moxes and a Tainted Pact. Whoa. All right. Yeah. Cool. What about you? Uh, Blue White Tempo. Mm. My goal is to not die and then try and get in there with like trickeries and, and little threats and okay. sideways thingamabobbers. Uh -huh. I got a Blue Mox, a White Mox, a Mana Drain, a True Name, and a Gta. Okay. I'm all over the place. I this feel that. this intro I... threw me off. How? I'm the guy that throws everybody off. Not today. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay. Find me. Good luck. Thank you. Herborg. Herborg. Shadow Spear. Go ahead. Delightful. Island. I'll block. <laughs> Into a ponder. Mm -hmm. uh, one, a two, a three. Ooh. You know uh -huh. what? Yeah. 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 You're up. Mountain. Yep. Go. Oh, the mountain goes. I love them. Ledger Shredder. Yep. Pass. I'm going to flash in Orcish Bowmasters. Oh, I'm going to ping you. Don't like that. I'm going to make an army. Yeah. I'm going to put a 1 1 counter on. Draw. What a turn two. It's okay. Mm. Croxa. It's been a while. You're going to have to remind me what Croxa does again. When ETB is second, unless I escape it, when okay. ETBs or attacks, each opponent discards a card, and then each opponent who didn't discard a card loses, dis, didn't discard a non land, loses three life this way. And then escape for black, black, red, red, and five other cards. I will, uh, I will discard a card. Okay. It's going to be an seasoned dungeoneer. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm going to play a Blood Crypt tapped, yep. and I'm going to pass. Untap. Draw for the turn. I've got a planes. Mm -hmm. I've got a swords to plowshares. Ooh, okay. Twenty one. Uh, I have a serum visions mm -hmm. trigger. Yep. So knives. Yep. Draw a card. Yep. Draw a card, and you discard a card. If you discard a non land this way, you put a one one counter on ledger shredder. I'm going to discard the Twining Twins. Basil. And then Serum Visions on the stack. It's going to draw. And then we're going to scry two. <clears throat> you know what? I'm just a big fan of Top Top today. Mm -hmm. Hey, sounds like me when I'm trying to loop my uh, uh, Sensei's Divining Top with Rings of Bright Earth. 
or voltaic key and paradox engine. Wow, that's so oddly specific. I do. Who could say why or why we're wearing the same clothes as other <laughs> recordings? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put one on the bottom. I appreciate that depending on the order, that's ominous. Like that, I hear these. This is ominous foreshadowing. Oh, <laughs> I like that. I like that. Uh, and I'm gonna attack you for two. Nineteen. Pass. Nineteen. I'm going to play Besaju, who endures. Okay. I'm going to attack you for one. I'm at 18. I'm going to tap four. Four. I'm going to play the one ring. The one ring. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get protection from everything. Yeah. I am going to pass. Untap. Untap. Draw for the turn. Why are there so many words on that card? Um, well... See, when you want to sell a product, <laughs> you do stuff like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to cast a Mock Sapphire. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast a Shadow Spear. Mm -hmm. Trigger. I'm mm -hmm. going to connive. What if I just didn't discard a card? Is that cool? Can I just cheat? Jump. What if I just cheated? Well, I'd have to call a uh, judge uh, me on you. <laughs> I'd have to call me on you. Oh, I want everything I have. Um, discard a land. Mm -hmm. Pass. Tap. Put a burden counter on here. And so it begins. And draw a card. Untap. Yep. Take one. Yep. Draw for turn. Tap. Draw two cards. <laughs> this card exists. Yep. I'm going to tap two, and I'm going to abrupt decay your ledger shredder. That's so rude. Yeah. I'm going to play a Mox Emerald. That's the second spell. It would be getting bigger. I know. Yeah. I'm going to hit you for one. I'm at 17. I'm going to cast Tireless Tracker. Yep. I'm going to play a Verdant Catacombs as my land for the turn. Yep. I have a landfall trigger. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to make a clue, and then I'm going to pass. No time like the present, the idiot bird. I'm going to respond. Yeah. I'm going to fetch with yeah. my Verdant Catacombs, going down to 17, making a second clue. Yep. And I'm going to grab a Stomping Ground into my tapped. All right. Untap, untap. Draw for the turn. What if you just die to your own one ring? What do you think the chances are? It'd be very funny. It'd be so funny. What's worse, that or dying to your own uh, your own uh, bitter blossom? Uh, I would I wouldn't know. I don't play bitter. Pl I'm <laughs> <laughs> I hit you for two. Yeah. Pass. Pass. Yeah. Hit me for two. Pass. With a shadow spear on the board. How how peculiar. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> what could he be up to? I don't know. I mean, you got a couple of options. Could be even Dillian Cleek. Could be Restoration Angel. Um, it is a surge deck, so there could be Venser Shaper Savant. <laughs> I thought about yeah. it, dude. I really I, thought about I, it. I'm like, yeah. I got Caracas. Yeah. It's, I could just do it forever. It just returns the spell. I can even <laughs> do it to a Thrun. <laughs> You're fine. Uh, untap. I yeah. lose two. Yeah, see? 13. <sighs> uh, draw for turn. Every time he, he, he spins the... The ring? What do you tap the ring? I tap the ring. Okay. Uh, I guess you one spin step closer to death. I'm going to spin this ring and sure. draw three cards. Yeah. It's only drawn him six cards. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Bolt. Fork bolt. One and one. Fork bolt. That's so rude, though. Yeah. Yeah, it dies. I'm at 16. Um, tap two. I'm going to equip Shadow Spear to my Tireless Tracker. I'll respond. Okay. Snapcaster. Yes. Swords to Plowshare, targeting your Tireless Tracker. Um. Do I? 
don't think I play this card anymore. Yeah, I gain three life. Should only be... It's a three, two. Pardon me. Uh, so that gets exiled. Yes. Uh, okay, well... I'm going to play a Prismatic Vista. Sure. Should have played this before doing all that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tap it with Urborg. Urborg is in play. I'm going to equip my Orc Army with Shadow Spear. Yep. I'm going to hit you for two. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to tap two and play Tarmogoyf. Ooh, classic. Uh, go ahead. It's big. Yeah. How big? We'll learn. Instant Sorcery, Creature Land. Four mm. or five. Uh, Loran. Mm -hmm. Shadow Spear. Okay. Clamp. Mm -hmm. Say go. I take three. Uh, I'm going to draw for turn. I'm going to cast Tainted Pact. Mm. I have something in mind. But I can pivot at any... <laughs> I have something. <laughs> what do you have? What do you have in mind? Name the name the card. Well, I want to go with. Sh I mean, Shieldra the Apocalypse. Pretty it's spicy. Pretty yeah. After I play my clamp, it's a pretty rude. Tbh. There it is. Yeah, okay. Wow, that was easy. Oh, barely cost you anything. I'm going to cast Shieldra the Apocalypse. Uh huh. Tapping for Urborg. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to then tap my one ring, putting a counter on this. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to draw four and oh gain eight. Oh my god. <laughs> No, but wait, that's bad. Oh, yeah, I go to 22. Oh, buckets. Or I go to 23, excuse me, I was at 15. Um, I would like to evoke fury. <laughs> Pitching a chain lightning. <laughs> I'll do two to each of those. Oh, baby. All right. Uh, and then I will cast an Elves of Deep Shadow and hit you for five. Oh, there's an artifact now. There's an artifact Because you blew now. that up. I'll hit you for six. Go ahead. I have a trigger when you draw. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Uh, you lose two. Oh, interesting. 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 I think I'm dead. <laughs> I, I hope so. <laughs> uh, go. Uh, so my... Upkeep, I'm going to lose. Oh, we got him right where we want him. We got him right where we want him. I'm going to draw a card, and he, I'm going to go up to 21. He's on the ropes. I'd like to tap this <laughs> ring, draw five, gain 10. Jesus! I had not seen Shia <laughs> and the one ring together. so busted. Yeah, come on, live your moment. One, two, live your three, moment. Four, five. This is incredible. Yeah, I mean, alone, these cards, like, on their own are pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what I like about Highlander. You get yeah. two cards that never really found home. No, no. <laughs> it's you know what? It's just like a modern version of Necropotence Inventor's Journal. Really, we've come a, <laughs> we've come a long way. I'm gonna cast him to Torak, targeting you. I'm going to flash in a Containment Priest, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to flash in a Mastermind. Ooh, okay. That's nice. Yeah. What you gonna do now? Well. I'm gonna do a couple of things. And I sequenced it such that I don't draw off the fairy mastermind. Sick, <laughs> dude. Uh, I'm gonna pay for life and snuff out your uh, no! containment priest. All right. Wait, what happened? Were you at like 30? Didn't you gain 10? Now we back down to 17. Oh, I didn't even adjust it. <laughs> I didn't think it was relevant. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, and then I'm gonna green sun for two. Oh no, my containment priest. I'm gonna grab Moloch. Uh huh. And have Moloch fight your. Uh, oh, it's second card on top. I'm going to have it fight your Fairy Mastermind. It's a 2 2. It's a Do 2 they 2. Fight or punch? Uh, they fight. Oh, yeah. So this gets. This dies. Your Fairy yeah. Mastermind gets exiled. Oh, no. Um, Man, there's some Jun stuff. So are you just putting the One Ring in everything now? Not everything. Okay. But this is a deck that. Really can like I have so many cheap spells yeah. that are all disruptive, and I have ways of gaining life. Uh, I'm gonna go to 26, and I'm going to cast this Croxa from my graveyard. <laughs> uh, you got instants and creatures. I can't. Uh, I can't discard. I take three. You take three. Wow. You got a land in there? Oh, you got a sorcery. We're fine. 
I do have a land. I just don't and want my wife to shrink. That's uh, fair. Then I'll attack you for ten. Dude, beep beep. You are not kidding. Yeah. Wow. Oh, the intro. Oh. Talking about our decks, our points, all that. No, we did. No, we didn't. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we did. Because he yeah, said, I'm playing Jund. And then talked about, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're you just really chips. quick. Yeah. <laughs> you were <laughs> eating. And we're keeping all of this in. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the most unhinged episode. All right. So what just, what just happened? I just woke up from a fever dream. Yeah. I was just like... We're we're going to game one and and uh, I'm excited to play tempo. Yeah, how how you doing? I'm pretty good. Tell me about your deck. What, so is, I'm it, playing, what does it do? Uh, Jund. Oh god, they, we're getting weird flashbacks of this nightmare I just had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the Patreon.com. <laughs> <laughs> like Ben was there and the ring was there. Sorry, and Jund I, was there. Ben gave me these chips laced with LSD and <laughs> I'm, they were just sitting. Up. You said they were. La I thought you said they were laced with LSV, and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna play so well in this match," but now I can't. Ugh, Jund. So I will make one genuine comment uh, about this deck. Yes. Uh, without all the haha uh, involved, um, I think this deck got a lot better, and not just because of the threats mm. that it got, because obviously we, you know, Minsk and Boo, and, yep. you know, opposition agent, yeah, and yeah, yeah, Bowmasters and stuff. Um, but because the amount of one mana or two mana removal spells that this deck has, right? And like we got, I mean, from like the, the whenever I say like new stuff, I mean after once the pandemic started. Sure, sure, forward, sure, 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 sure. Uh, Blood Chief's Thirst, Strangle, yeah. Um, more creatures being creatures being more relevant, so it doesn't feel bad playing cards like Snuff Out, right? Or playing. Uh, like, like terminate and dreadful coming back into our meta with uh, the initiative is very interesting. Yeah. Very very. Free spells got a lot better. Yeah, and they were always really good. Arguably, sure. snuff out was just underplayed. Sure. Um, but yeah, it's uh, the cheap interaction hmm. has, has really helped push this deck to what it is now. Oh my god. Uh huh. Uh, nothing. I like this hand. I'll keep this hand. Oh, um, I have an awkward hand. I think I should mulligan this hand. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mulligan this hand. Okay. It's a little awkward. Well, let's see it. Let's see it. Uh, so I have a fetch land, a basic forest, uh, Liliana the Last Hope, the One Ring, Duress, DRC, and Flame Slash. And it's really appealing to have a play pattern of Darcy into Kill Your Thing and to find me more mana. Um, but it would require me drawing black sources immediately. Sure. Uh, and also, this just like doesn't line up super well against you playing like a flash threat or you just, you know, killing this. Like it's yeah, it's not. Hmm. I mean, never look at the top because it doesn't matter. Sure. But, you know, as an example. So yeah. Put them all good Are you base red? Like, what what would you describe your your color distribution? So as? I'm base black. It's forty. It's like forty percent black, and then thirty-one percent green, twenty whatever percent red. So like leading that hand with red, red is also more awkward, or maybe it's not just because you know you're more likely to draw in a density of like the colors of mana that you already have there too. Yeah, the mana the mana is tough. It's interesting in this deck because you get the mana. You want enough basics so you don't just lose lose the blood moon. Yeah, of course. Uh, and also that you can find off your initiative creatures. But you're a triple mox deck, and triple mox decks can have awkward, like, pip kind of hands. Yep, for sure. Um, so I can't actually play that many utility lands. Hmm. I have to just play mana. I have to play dual lands, which is sounds weird to say. But, like, I I only have one creature land in the deck, and it's a new card from uh, Woe, and it's mostly in there because I felt bad that I had zero cards. Like, from zero Woe cards? I mean, you yeah. got Lord of the Ring cards. That's in there. true. Like, you're, you're up to date enough. I mean, I played Twining Twins and just started it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, one, two. This hand is great. All right. All right. Good luck. You too, friends. Island go. Taiga go. Uh, Stoneforge. Yep. In two. This is the real interesting question. 
We've got three hits. Oh, I got Jite. Ooh. Jite. Ooh. But what if? So it's like Jite Clamp. Shadow Spear. Shadow Spear Lion Sash. They're all pretty good. Uh, clamp plays better into removal. Yeah, into, against your removal. GTA plays better until you get it out early. Lion Sash is another creature. Shadow got... Spear is... Uh... I think proactively I'm supposed to get the GTA. Yeah. I think that in this creature-based matchup is very good. I'm going to bolt my... I'm going to unholy heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. I'm going to play Prismatic Vista and crack it for a swamp, and I'm going to play a very classic Jun card. Yeah, Bobby! Bobby! Dark Confidant itself. Oh my god. Uh, go ahead. Hey, both players shuffling. Got a Chivo. I'm going to go with Errant Mesa, Fateful, Your Absence. Oh, my absence. Yeah, no, no Bobby value for you. Get a clue. No. Oh, I dropped my entire deck. <laughs> Why did you have to kill my Bob? I, you know I had to kill your Bob. I just wanted you to draw a card. He's just a little guy. He's, yeah, just, he's just a little just guy. Just a little guy. I mean, we know for a fact this isn't a little guy. This is an actual, like, 50-year-old man who exists out in the world. And Bob Maher is not <laughs> a small man. Hello. Yeah. You're fine. Untap. Yeah, Bob Trigger. Oh. <laughs> How much life would you have lost? I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> um. Means it was a land. <laughs> <laughs> nuh uh. Okay, maybe. Uh, I'm going to play a Wasteland. Mm. And I'm going to play a Noble Hierarch. Yeah. I'm going to pass. Luminarch, Aspirant. Mm -hmm. I'd like to go to combat. Yep. Pew. Okay. Pass. I'm going to crack this clue. Yep. Draw. Canker Bloom. Two mana, three, two, pay one, sack, uh, destroy an artifact, destroy an enchantment, or proliferate. I don't like that. I know. You're fine. Uh, go ahead. One mana? Two. No, but one mana to activate. Oh, one mana. It's very annoying. Yeah. I'm going to play this Scalding Tarn. Uh, I'd like to go to combat. Mm -hmm. Attack for three. I'll block. What? It's a three, two. <laughs> Wait, or what? Uh, I can't believe he's blocking. I thought that was a two, two. Would you like to not attack? I would love to not attack. I okay, legitimately great. thought that was a two, two. I'm sorry. Thank you for that take back. Uh, pass. You're, you're very welcome. Don't ever let it happen again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to flash out an Orcish Bowmasters. I'm going to miscalculate that. Okay. Hunt it. Hmm. Got some cards in your hand. Huh? I do. I got a grip. I'm going to play a Plague Engineer. 2-2 uh, Death Touch. As the DTBs, I pick a creature type. Creatures of the chosen type get minus one, minus one. Yep. Uh, that you control. That I control, yeah. yeah. I'm going to name Wizard. Wizards? Wizards. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, end step. I'm going to crack this down to 19. I'm going to get a Rav Duel. Oh. God. I, can I share you my ADHD journey that I just went on? Sure. You said Rav Duel, and I was thinking Raf Duel, as in the shortened form of Raphael for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> And then I was like, that's a secret layer waiting to happen, right? It's the TMNT. And then I went like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Rav Duels. <laughs> that, is, that is quite the journey, certainly. Turtles are now dual lands. Yeah. 
<laughs> Double mana. Double mana. <laughs> I don't know why that, yeah. Uh, I mean, you got to do something yeah, when you're yeah. born shuffling. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's the little things that we, mm -hmm. we say to make ourselves happy. Uh, draw for the turn. Going to play a Seachrome Coast tapped. Uh, I'd like to go to combat. Okay. It's so big. Well. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've well. got Death Touch too. That's very frustrating. Well. Pass. Draw. Well. That's a little frustrating. Uh, combat. Mm. I will attack. Exalted trigger. It's a 4 3? It's a 4 3. I block. Damage? Yep. Trade. Uh, I'm going to play a Zeatoria's Proving Ground. Mm. One ring. Ah. Ah. <laughs> what was that? Well, that was my brain hurting from oh. how the sequence of plays have gone here. <laughs> and you got protection from everything? Yeah. So you don't... No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, tap. Put a rage counter on here and draw a card. Oh, relatable. Go ahead. I'll crack this as well. 18. <laughs> uh, uh, we have fun. We have fun here. We have fun here. <laughs> you know, I'm okay that Wilds Drain is pretty low powered for Canadian Highlander. Sure. Because what the hell is this? Actually, Ben, can you bleep out what I'm about to say yes. in post? Great. Yeah. What the f <laughs> is this? Come on. Just a little guy. What do you mean, no little guy? Well, there's two of them. Yeah. Thank you. GTA. Yep. Pass. Uh, take one. Yep. Draw. Ooh. Tap. Draw two. Ooh. <clears throat> Excuse me. I mean, that's pretty bad if you have that. Combat. Mm. Three. Uh, three? Yeah. Fifteen. Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf. Uh, instant sorcery land creature. Yep. Instant sorcery land creature. Four, five? Mm-hmm. Yep. Go. End step. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to flash in subtlety. I'm going to respond. Yep. I'm going to cast Colgan's command. Modes. I'm going to destroy g and make you discard a card. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Got my cryptic. Oh. 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 Uh, five, six. I figured you were, like, I knew you were baiting, mm -hmm. which is why I didn't do that. Yeah. And then I thought... Okay, maybe he's got to follow it up with a planeswalker or something. End step is the correct time to hit that, but to lose the GT and the cryptic, which are my answers to this, that is that is very very backbreaking. <laughs> I'm actually really curious because the other mode I had at that point was like counter bounce, but I don't know if that helps me too much. I think your mode is that you never block my canker bloom. And just keep going. Well, I wanted to, I mean, obviously I need to get the g lot at some point. Yeah. So you're thinking, even at that point, as soon as we lose it, because like you have enough like straight kill removal in black. I yeah. think you overvalue g in this matchup. I'm not saying I disagree finding it. I like finding it because it pushes me to take a game action to get rid of it. Um, and I'm, what I'm saying is that I think you should have committed to getting this GTA so that I have to lose my Canker Bloom. Oh, and he's taking over the game with the um, you've, you've got a card that scales pretty yeah. well. 
Like, I don't know. It's it's tough once this hits the table, too, because now I'm just up on a bunch of cards. Yeah. But. Oh, I drew the I drew the cryptic the turn after you drew it, too. Right, yeah. And when I had the subtlety in hand when you cast it with my open mana, and I'm just like... <clears throat> yeah. Oh. You know, sometimes... Uh, I'm never walking. Sometimes it happens this yeah. way. Go. Uh, lose two. Yep. Sure. I mean, game's not over. <laughs> I, I, I was being genuine. I wasn't being facetious. Uh huh. I'll draw three. Man. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've only drawn six cards off the one ring. You know. I'll play a uh, Mox Emerald. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Combat. Yes. Seven? Yep. I'm at eight. Oh, I guess I should have maybe done this before pre combat, but uh, three. I'm going to cast Grist. Yeah. For Hunger sick. Tide. Uh, I'm going to uh, minus yeah. Grist, and then I'm going to sack the Noble to kill your subtlety. Um, and then I'm going to play a Treetop Village as my lane for the turn and pass. Go. Uh, end of turn, I'm going to flash in Opposition Agent. I mean, you have drawn six cards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go. I'll take three. Gonna draw four. Mm. Wow, all land unlucky. Oh man. Uh, I'm gonna play a basic swamp. Yeah. I'm going to him to Torak you. I will flash into solitude. Okay. I'd like to exile your goif. Sure. I gain five. Yeah. Fifteen. Uh, and then him. Results? Yeah. Uh, you hit a mental misstep. Ooh. Okay. Um. I'm going to tick up and make a, an insect. And I mill a card. Is it just one? I thought it was like mill two or something. Uh, I mill one, and if it's an insect, Did I keep, keep going. going. Okay. Yeah. Um, I should have maybe done this before. That's okay. Um, boot up. The, yeah. the ape village, and I'll hit you with these three. So I have to block the um, oppo, the opposition agent. Sure. So I take five, uh, uh, gain three. Th- so I take two. I go to six. Uh, I'm going to play a dragon's rage channel. No, my mental misstep. I'm going to play a delighted half. No, my mental misstep. I'm going to pass the turn and clean up my board a little. Seagull. Uh, and this has delirium. Actually, hold on. I'm probably supposed to play this now? Question mark. No. No. Sorry. You good? I have to play around that sorcery speed removal. Drop. Oh yeah, I, I lose four. I go to eleven. Yeah. I'm gonna tap it. Draw five. <laughs> play mox jet. Uh, delirium, or not delirium, uh, Dragon Rage trigger. Got a bin of land. Uh, I'm going to tap two and play Dothy Voidwalker. Yes. I'm going to tick up Grist and Mill one and make an insect. I think I'm going to go to Com. That I should animate this. I'm mm. gonna pay two and animate this. All right, knowledge. and then I'd like to go to combat. Sure. Uh, Darcy has to attack treetop. Plague engineer, delighted halfling, and an insect that can attack. All right, I'm gonna flash in this errant and Giada. Yes. So it's a two three. Uh huh. I mean, look at the top card of my library at any time. That's very funny. Because I hit a wizard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which would have been a second blocker. Uh, but your plague engineer is finally live. I choose you. Actually, it dies to state base before the triggered ability happens. Uh, so I've genuinely been drawing a lot of lands okay. <laughs> off this rig. Uh, you know what? You d- just keep it. Okay. Just keep it. Uh huh. I think I'm just dead here, aren't I? Uh, you blocked the biggest thing. Well, that has trample, though. So this is the next biggest thing. Well, that's thing. a 2 3. Oh, it is a 2-3. You block one of these threes and you take three, four, five, six, seven. 
Unlucky. Unlucky. Man. Man, man, man. Well, well, well. That play around the GT, the holding up the subtlety. Yeah. The uh, the losing them both. Yeah. The Colligan's command, my dude. Very jund. That Colligan's command. Very jund. You I, gotta admit. I am curious. Yeah, obviously I overvaluated the the GT at that point. I don't know why I was baiting it out because I set myself up for that, which is kind of interesting. Because there's the, the line of like, I had enough mana to... I couldn't have had eight mana up the turn I played. I only had seven. Mm -hmm. So there's no downside, I think, to, but other than opening myself up for having it removed. But I think I kind of wanted you to use the resources, but then it actually happened, and I was like, oh no. Like, the longer this goes without you actually taking a game action that I care about, the more that my deck has time to sculpt a hand that can engage with the card that I do care about in a way that impacts me the least. So, like, the level one of just play GTA, equip GTA, force the canker bloom issue yeah. uh, makes me use a resource that impacts the board to get rid of that GTA. Yeah. Um, Instead of like later on letting me use that canker bloom as a way to like trade with a creature. To force it, to, yeah. To kill you, to do a variety of things. No, fair. Yeah. GG's. GG's, my dude. GG's. Jun, 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 Jun. Jun, Jun. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for Junding in. Uh, thank you to Search for being my opponent. Thank you to Ben Ben for being on tech. And make sure to check out our Juntrion. Over at Jundrion, Jun, Jun, slash Loading Ready Jun. Uh, remember that you can support us through there because, uh, I mean, you like the show, right? Yeah, the show is possible because of you. And if you like the show, we already know you do, uh, you can check out uh, more information on the format of the decks we played uh, down in the description below. And let us know your favorite, Jund. <laughs> okay, goodbye. I Jund you.